hello you lovely lovely people it has been a while i had make long story short i had surgery on my mouth so i couldn't talk for about two weeks or so um so i'm back hopefully i will be motivated to do more videos hopefully i don't know um but today as the title suggested we are going to review devil's line volumes one and two if you have not heard about this um, I'm just going to give you a quick summary of what it is, like the, pretty much like the pilot. Um, it's about a college girl who gets saved from a, an attack on from a devil, which is a vampire, um, that blend into society and how her relationship kind of gets intertwined with the person who saved her and all this other stuff. Um, it is made by uh, Ryo Han Hanada. I'm probably sure it's backwards for you guys. I have notes, so I'm gonna be looking at notes. So if I'm looking down, that's why. Um, see, notes, notes. I came prepared for this video. Um, I did do some research on him as an artist, and I didn't really find much besides Devil's Line. So he is a fairly new. Um, manga artist um, and storyteller and I also found out some other stuff like uh, Devil's Line this book right here ran from March 22nd 2013 to December 22nd 2018 so it is recently ended within this last past winter um, which kind of shocked me because when I found this first one it was on the new manga at the end cap at Barnes & Noble so it looked interesting from the cover so I decided to give it a quick glance um oh, with that said when I glanced at it I you know saw the artwork and I loved it um I'm really into those action, romance, kind of mystery um, books, manga, um, and this really did a great job at the artwork. So I'll just show that off. So and like it's it's consistent, like throughout the whole thing, it the artwork is super consistent. And uh, the character development is actually quite good. I know there are some mangas out there that are very slow in the uptake with doing um, character development. Um, others just don't really have any character development. It's just the plot and they roll with it without any any real character development. This one has um, a really good character development and I personally got really into it um, so I guess it's foreshadowing like the end of this video and my dog's, oh my god, my dog, my dog's need attention, they need attention so badly right now. I can't, okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna go. As I was saying, the character development is really good, and I probably just foreshadowed like the whole ending of this review. Um, I'm, I mean, I, I kind of talked about this in general. I know we're going over both volume one and volume two. Volume one has a decent amount of action and plot and character development. Um, new characters and a major like plot development in volume two artwork again stayed very consistent um you do get more character build up and you know you question some things on what's going on eventually you get like backstories and more drama but yeah uh, overall 
between the first and the second volume, the character development was really good. You got a lot of action and like you pretty much dove into the plot um, and twists and turns right away, which I can understand if it's only going to be um, a 12 volume thing. Shocker guys, it's only 12 volumes. Oh, it's 13 volumes, see if I got it wrong. 13 volumes, so if you guys are expecting more after volume 13, there's none. Um, overall, um, everything was pretty great. I'm not gonna lie. If you're really into like the monster, I don't even wanna say monster world, but like the action romance kind of thing, with suspense this is a great manga series to start and I'm like if it's if it's not for you then I guess it's not for you uh, my my thing that I always try and tell people when they do ask for my opinion uh, is oh well what do you think what do you think I'm like dude if you if you, if you like it or are interested at least check out the first volume uh, maybe even just read it in the store and if you like it buy it and continue to read it um because that's my philosophy is if it looks interesting read a little bit of it if you can get through the first portion of it buy it and if it continues to hold your you know attention get more now everything that i said has been strictly my opinion and i really like this manga series I'm doing volumes 1 and 2 right now. I actually have 1 through 11, I think. I have 1 through 9, 11, so I need 10, 12, and 13. Uh, if you're looking to just start a new manga series or trying to get into like a different genre of manga, I would recommend this one um, because I do know a lot of people are either into the action or to like Shonen Jump or like the life, slice of life stuff with romance and all that stuff. This kind of blends the two and I personally like it. I obviously am building up the, getting the rest of them and have tried to keep up with them. And uh, if you guys want to see any other videos pertaining to the volumes after this, what I think of the character development, the plot line, what's going to happen. Um, let me know. I do plan on doing a comparison from the manga to the anime because uh, I do know the anime is out and it is an English dub on Hulu. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. I know it's been sporadic I am working on trying to be more regular, even though this is like my third video, but we're not gonna complain. If there's anything you would like to see, uh, obviously leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you have read this manga series, if uh, you have any more questions about the first couple of volumes, um, please ask them in the comments. I respond fairly quickly, and yeah. Until next video, Stay safe, love, laugh, have fun, and nerd out. Bye!